on everybody? I want to do a real brief video of what you can expect Nike athletes to be wearing this year at the games. For those of you that live under a rock, let me briefly explain what's going on and back up. In the past, at the Reebok CrossFit Games, you were only aware to wear Reebok apparel and Reebok shoes. Now, this year has been full of a lot of changes. You know, there's no regionals, RIP. There are sanctionals, there's national champs going to the games. A lot of changes that we're not going to go into whether they're good or bad. But one of the good changes is the fact that now, on the competition floor, athletes have to wear Reebok apparel still, but are allowed to wear any shoe they want. So I figured this is a great opportunity to show you what we're gonna be wearing as Nike athletes on the CrossFit Games floor. I have six shoes we're gonna go over. We're gonna talk about each one and it's gonna be a quick video and it's gonna be awesome. So let's get started. First shoe up is Old Faithful, the Nike Metcon 5s. Now when I say Old Faithful, I don't mean old because these honestly just came out. I instead mean this is probably gonna be the go-to shoe for a lot of athletes you see out there, including myself. Um, I prefer them, and unless I am running five miles or swimming, which I wouldn't be wearing a shoe, or lifting heavy, I'll probably be rocking these bad boys. Um, if you want me to, if you want to listen to me review these shoes, I'll include a different video in the cards. You can listen to that. I'm not going to review these shoes, but I'm just saying this is going to be probably the go-to shoe that you're going to see a majority of athletes wear. Next up on the shoes you'll see Nike Games athletes wearing is the Flyknit Threes. This is obviously the third installment of their Flyknit fly line. Um, the difference between this and the fives that I actually like is it sits a little bit higher than the fives. And so this is a shoe that I would probably wear half we do any trail running, for instance, because I might worry about rolling an ankle and it gives me a little more ankle support. So that is the Flyknit threes. Next up on the list is Nike Free X. This is a shoe that to me is a hybrid. It's, it's a shoe that I would use if I was, for instance, doing like a lot of running and a lot of box jumps. Um, it's not necessarily a pure running shoe, like I'm just gonna run, which is the Pegasus line of shoes, which we'll go over next. But instead, this is like a hybrid between the Metcon 5 and the Pegasus family. It's not maybe necessarily built for lifting in as much as the Metcon 5, but it's also not built for running in as much as the Pegasus is. So it's a great hybrid shoe that I plan on breaking in in the next week or two. The next shoe on the list is meant for just running, like I mentioned. This is the Pegasus Turbo 2s. Um, it's their newest shoe that came out, the Pegasus line. Honestly, uh, I've loved every Pegasus shoe that's come out, and this is absolutely no exception. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't come in black and gold like the rest of the shoes. They couldn't get everything in black and gold, but this is the shoe you're going to see games athletes wearing, like myself, if we have to run long distance. I mean, anything probably over, anything over probably 400 to 800 meters, you're going to see me rocking these bad boys, and boy, oh boy, do I love them. The next shoe on the list is the Nike Alpha Menace football cleats. Now this is a shoe that is essentially built for turf. It's a turf shoe. So it's not got thick teeth. It's got some small kind of subtle teeth that are meant for the speed turf they lay out in Madison where you see us work on outside. So this is going to be a perfect shoe for um, if we're pushing sleds or removing yokes or anything of that nature. It's not necessarily built for running on pavement or pounding the pavement at all. Um, and it, I'm not really sure. I haven't actually tried it out for lifting per se, but I'd imagine this is mainly built for change of direction, acceleration, and pushing heavy objects on turf. And last but certainly not least is the Ramaleo 3XDs. These are shoes you've probably seen before, still in the black and gold, looking sick. This is the shoe you're gonna see a lot of us wear when it's coming time for either a one rep max lift or a speed clean ladder or a speed snatch ladder, depending upon what the athlete likes to lift with. Um, but this is the lifting shoe of choice you're gonna see a lot of the Nike Games athletes wear. And that covers it, ladies and gentlemen. These are the shoes you're gonna see athletes like myself wear at the games this year. I'll make sure to put links down below where you can find these shoes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya!